Hey guys, this is Purple Dragon Nuke, and I've got a showcase for you today. This is um, a zipper elevator. I made it because I figured that some of you um, prefer uh, zipper elevators to the type of elevator I did for my up and down one that I did a tutorial for um, about a week ago, I think. Um, so. I made this, I haven't gone through the trouble of compacting it at all, it is a mess anyway, um, the wiring. It does work, but there's a few fatal flaws that um, bring it down, because it is actually very cool and good. Um, I'll show you the wiring quickly, it's not the most compact at all, it fits into an area that's um, not the smallest, but not the biggest either. Um, it's a lot of repeating work, but um, uh, wiring the wiring that activates this all, like underneath there, is very messy, and it was hard to squeeze it in to certain places. So I'm give or give you um, a quick demonstration. Uh, it doesn't always work uh, because I'm recording until it's on the fastest setting um, because I've put the delay between the different levels um, at the lowest setting so you press this button to go up you go whizzing up luckily that time I got up and then um, to go down again you just go in the middle of these two steps and press the down button and you go down very smoothly um, so also you can cool it from the top like so and uh, make it go down again now another feature suppose you miss it um, um yeah suppose you miss it uh, you just press this button and they all retract again but immediately there is a flaw in this though because of the way I've got the descent function wired um, uh, it kind of slows it down um, I'll tell you what I mean um, so basically this button uh, powers this redstone which goes along here and basically what this does is just zigzag it zigzags all the way up here and reverses these torches to take away the power from these infinite loop circuits um, by retracting the block that this repeat is going into and um, the issue with it is that um, uh, the, the redstone goes into this block and into this repeater and so when it gets dispowered it has to go with the repeaters and it's even slower because at first it goes through here so um, that isn't the best thing of all uh, but I'll try fixing it and um, I'll probably update this video if I do fix it also um, yeah the the cool lift function from the top is a mess it, like this is the only way I could fit it in I couldn't fit it down this gap at all or down here it just wouldn't fit at all complete mess um, so yeah I won't make a tutorial on this guys um, unless you're really desperate to make one of these um, because it's it's really messy and I'd probably mess up the tutorial several times it'll take several billion takes so um, yeah, if you want to see this in a tutorial in the future, uh, please like, subscribe, and leave your feedback in the comments. Because I think uh, since the 1.5 update, it pretty much messed up everything to do with pistons, uh, timing-wise, with repeaters. And also, um, there was a very good um, a zipper elevator. Uh, I can't remember who it was by, but it used bud switches. Basically, the pistons that extended the stairs were bud switches, and they just uh, zipped down to retract it. 
and that was really good, but 1.5 messed it up completely. So, um, I kind of got inspiration from that, and um, I put it into this. But obviously, this is a lot larger because his version was 4x10. So, I'll put a link to um, him in the d his video in the description. Although it is broken, uh, it doesn't work anymore. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. Adios.